Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play, my friends. We're on the 11th episode and guys, again, a massive thank you for the support you showed in the last episode. Very, very much appreciated. I'm really happy to see that you guys are okay with me using uh, multiple worlds in this Let's Play. But like I say, the one I'm on currently is still going to be the main world. So don't you guys worry about it for those of you guys who are like purists and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, I've already gone ahead and uh, stacked away a whole bunch of my stuff here. But there's a few things which I haven't stacked away. First of all, uh, I want to go ahead and put away all of the potion ingredients, including fallen stars. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open all of these herb bags. We've got four herb bags from the alternate world. Oh my word, we've got a lot of seeds. This is incredible. Look at this. We've got water leaf seeds, death weed seeds. Now we can plant some more of those bad boys. And then this one, I think, is also... Yeah, there we go. A little bit of moon glow. In, in fact, I'll tell you what. Just so we fill them all up. Yeah. Every single one is now filled up with something. Fan free fantastic. So, guys, check it out. 192 demonite ore is the amount we have. I don't think it's going to be enough to get us those the full set of shadow armor. Uh, wait, how much uh, shadow skills do I need? So, 10, 20 is 30, uh, 45, and then there's 15, 25, which is 40. Plus that is 60. So believe it or not, we could actually make ourselves the full set of shadow armor. Not bad, guys. Not bad. So we're going from 16 defense up to 19. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Ah, I'm a happy bunny today, my friends. I am very, very happy today. I really, really am. Because, guys, today I think it might be a nice idea to make a little bit of a start on our beach town. Now, I think, first of all, the logical idea would be to go ahead and put sand on all of this. We need sand to put down on literally all of this here, my friends. We're going to replace, like, these three layers with the torches here with sand, and as a result, we can actually make ourselves a really nice-looking beach town. That is what we are looking to do, and uh, as a result of doing that, we should be able to get something that looks really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to it, my friends, but... To start off today's episode, a lot of you guys were saying that in the alternate world, we actually had something that we could have gotten. Uh, first of all, I'll get the mana regen band. Uh, cloud in a bottle. Uh, these two can go away. I don't really need them at the moment. Uh, wait. Hang on a minute. Uh, oh, no. If I had the ankle of the wind, I could actually make myself the lightning boots pre-hard mode, which is pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, we don't have the ankle of the wind, so, yeah. But, yeah, you guys were saying that on the alternate world, our Let's Play 2 world, there is a sky island right above here. Because, apparently, when we were fighting the Eye of Cthulhu, I was shooting up a whole bunch of the water bolt projectiles, and apparently they were all coming back to the ground. So... I think it might be a nice idea if we just popped up here real quick and saw or see if that was actually the case. It is! You guys were right! Oh my word! You guys were t completely and totally right. Okay, right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, chuck down a little bit of wood down there. Oh god. <laughs> oh, we can jump really high, guys, because we've got the freaking frog leg and the blue horseshoe balloon. That's hilarious. Right, well, anyways, yeah, there we go. We got ourselves another Sky Island. I don't see a reason why we can't go ahead and uh, see what's going on in here. Another Star Fury. Oh my god. How amazing is that? Oh wait, there's a whole bunch of ores though. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'll always take ores. Ores are pretty good. I like me some ores. <laughs> nice. But yeah, guys, like I say, we won't be on this world too much in this Let's Play. We really, really won't be, so don't you guys worry about it. Once we've dug up these ores, we're going back to the main world, and we are going to make a bit of a start on our beach town. So, yeah. All right, guys. Off we go. Let's go home, shall we? So there we go. We're back in the main world, my friends. And do we have ourselves a ton of sand blocks? Because if we don't, then that could be a little bit of an issue. Uh Oh, yeah, we don't have a ton of sand blocks, huh? Right. Well, um, hmm. Where's the nearest actual desert biome? Ah, oh, way over to the left here? Ah, oh, gosh, freaking down, man. This, uh, this might take a while, huh? Well, um, yeah, I mean, you know what they say, guys. No pain, no gain, right? So, how's about we head over to the left-hand side of the world? We're going to go ahead and dig up a whole bunch of the desert. Maybe flatten it out, smooth it out in the process. And then, yeah, we'll make a bit of a start on our beach town, huh? Do -do 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 -do. Just riding on my bunny through the night. Like the true professionals that we are. None of that rhymes, so who freaking cares? Oh, I love my bunny. 
Ah, gotta love digging up sand blocks, huh? Well, to be honest with you guys, I probably should have bought along with me a whole bunch of bombs, right? That might have been a good idea. Uh, well, I guess we're doing this the slow, old-fashioned way, huh? Well, do you know what? I can't complain too much. I really, really can't. It's my own fault, isn't it? So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it and just dig up a bunch of sand. I mean, it's not like it's difficult. They all fall down, so you can just dig them up easily. So, yeah, not too bad. All right, guys, let's do it. All righty, guys. So, what do you think? I've gone ahead and smoothed out a whole bunch of the desert here up until the little anthill entrance. And uh, as a result, we've got 417 sand blocks. And I feel like that's going to be enough for what we need it for. So, let's magic mirror back. Oh, yeah, looking good. Wait, I saw a fallen star down there. I must go get the stars. Yes, yes, yes. All the stars. Thank you, cancer. There you go. Fantastic. All right, guys. So we've got ourselves the stuffs that we're looking for. And um, now all we're going to do, very, very simply, is we are going to start placing down a whole ton of sand. And, yep, we're going to sandify. We're going to beachify this place. It's going to look fan-freaking-tastic, guys. Now, here's a question. Something I genuinely don't know. As I go ahead and continue to place down these sand blocks, will it technically mean that the beach biome will be extended? Like, is that how it works? I don't really know the logistics or the technicalities of how beach biomes work, right? So it'll be kind of interesting to know if the music will carry on over to the left-hand side here as I go along, right? So it might be a cool idea to find out. But uh, in the meantime, fireflies! Lots of fireflies. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Right, um, is there a fishing quest? Hello! Fishing quest? Uh, no. Okay, so we've got to wait until daytime. Fantastic. You know what? That's totally fine. So, guys, let's do this thing. We're going to beachify this place, and it's going to look fan freaking -tastic. Oh! <laughs> well, on our freshly formed beach is an unconscious man. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? Good lord, I'm supposed to be getting good reviews for this new beach town. You're not exactly helping there, Mr. Unconscious Man. Jeez, I don't want there to be, like, reviews on Yell.com saying that this place is full of unconscious people. Darn it, man! What the heck? All right, well, uh, yeah, I guess we've got ourselves one of these guys now. Hey, Right, which one of these do we want? I mean, we do have Defender Medals. We got them from the alternate world, didn't we? Do we want, do we want Ballista? Explosive Trap? I want to try something that I've never actually tried before. Like, Lightning Aura is something I use quite a lot. Ballista as well. I'm almost thinking, ooh, explosives. Do we want to go for the old boom boom tactic? I kind of like that idea, actually. We're going to go for the boom boom tactic. Oh, yes, we are. In the meantime, guys, check it out. We've gone ahead and completely beachified this place, which is fan freaking tastic. Oh, yes, it is. All right, so, uh, Mr. Sir, I'm going to buy the boom boom stick from you. Yes, I am. Uh, right, yeah, 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 there we go. Hey. Look at you do. The sad news is we can't go ahead and use it until we've actually got the event going on. And to be honest, like, I'm very, very tempted to give it a go. <laughs> but then again, we'll probably just get absolutely bamboozled, right? So, yeah, probably not a great idea, huh? All right, well, in the meantime, yeah, guys, we're, we're, we're pretty much done here. Look at this. A nice, fresh bit of terrain ready to be built upon. Oh, it's going to be a good time, my friends. So, oh, my word, look at the amount of stuff I have, though. Oh, a zombie banner. All right, might as well go chuck that down somewhere. Yep, there you go. Looking good. We don't have many sand blocks left, sadly. Uh, nor palm wood. Hmm, okay. Right, well, uh, yeah, guys. What we need to try and do... I think... Hmm, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think in terms of, like, long term. I think what might be a good idea is if we sort of marked out where some of the various buildings could go and then try to have some palm trees on the spare spaces. So, I don't know. I think that could be a nice idea. So, I don't know. I think the nicest idea might be is if we were to go ahead, grow all of the palm trees so they're already grown, and then dig them out and then plot where the bases are going to go, right? I think that would be the coolest idea because I'd love to have palm trees be like an integral part of this build, right? I think that would be fantastic. I really, really do. So, uh, the question is, do we have ourselves a bunch of acorns? I'm pretty sure we do somewhere. Um, somewhere being the operative word. Yep, yep, there we go. 27. Ow. Got a lot, guys. We've got a lot. Okay, so if we were to head down here, sadly, we can't put one there because of the slope. Although, with that said, I could probably get rid of those temporarily and then just sort of wait for it to grow and then put it back in. So, yeah, we'll put that in, put that in, and, yeah, we're just going to keep going. 
Uh, hey, look at you do. They're growing as we go along, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we're looking for. So, yeah, guys. Okay, well, maybe what we do is we postpone the building for now, and then instead, we could maybe try the Old One's Army. I don't know where the Old One's Army comes in terms of progression uh, in the game, but I think it would still be a nice idea to give it a go at the very least. Um, so, yeah. Right, where's the Dryad? So, the Dryad... Oh, wait, look at that. Some of them are already growing. That's fantastic. In the meantime, as well, we could also do another fishing quest. The Batfish. No, 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 no. Batfish. Batfish. All right. So, uh, boom, 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 boom. We'll buy a few of these. There we go. Look, we've got pumpkin seeds, purification powder, as well as, as well as you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, sunflowers. Ooh. I didn't take that into consideration, did I? We could, like, completely buffify this place, right? Have ourselves a bunch of sunflowers dotted around the place. So, again, if we wait for all of the palm trees to grow, then we could probably do this quite nicely. Like, oh, man, this is going to be so cool. Like, I've got some good visions for this place, my friends. I really, really do. And hopefully you guys are going to see uh, my epic visions very, very soon. Yes. Okay, so, I mean, this is a pretty... Oh, look at that. He's, like, holding ale to me. Sadly, I don't have any ale, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, man, I really want to do the Old One's Army now. <laughs> I really, really do. I want to give it a go at the very least. So there's the Eternia stand. And there's the Eternia crystals. So, I mean, I don't think we're going to get very far, to be quite honest with you guys, to be quite blunt. But, you know, I think it would still be a fun thing to try, right? Wait, this thing is five blocks wide? That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, large open flat area. Oh, dang it, man. I thought we were in a large open flat area. What about over here? Uh, hmm. I mean, all we can do is sort of, like, dot it. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. There we go. We've done it. We've done it, guys. All right. Explosive trap, please. We're doing this thing. Wait, they're spawning way up here? What the crap? Ooh, you got to love the explosive traps, guys. Get wrecked, you freaking butt. Oh, wow, these guys aren't even trying. Oh, yeah, this is only tier one. Of course it is. I'm being a dumbo. Well, yeah, basically, this is not going to be difficult by any stretch of the imagination. Look at these guys. Most of them are getting one-shotted. Hilarious. Go on. 41%. Look at them. Are you guys going to, like, get in on the action as well? Look at these guys. How much health do they have? 30. Yep, I'm one-shotting most of them. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. All we got to do is beat them down. Well, I'm hoping that my NPCs don't get bamboozled because that would really suck, wouldn't it? Like, I legitimately don't want them to die, especially the angler. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we can have an explosive trap there. Uh, we could probably have one on the point as well. That'd probably be a good idea, right? Uh, where's the last one? That, yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then we'll put one on there as well. Yeah, we'll put one on the point in just a moment. But guys, come on. We're going to do this thing. It's going to be a good time. There we go. Five seconds until the next one. What should we use? Like, we're using melee stuff for the most part now. This is increased movement speed. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. All right. Here you go, my friends. We've got the flying dude's going to start coming in soon. Come on. I'm awaiting. Ow. Hey, son of a gun. You're not taking me out of that, sunshine. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Mr. Tavern Keep, come on, get in on the fun there, buddy. Yeah, get out of here, you freaking buttheads. All right, and I'll put down another one of those there. Ah, they're all getting blown up, guys. This is actually quite fun. <laughs> I wasn't expected to do quite as well as this, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Maybe we're at the perfect progression line to be able to take these guys on. Oh, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wave complete number two is done. Uh, there are five waves in tier one so you know there's not really too much to worry about i'm pretty sure the final boss is the dank mage right the dark mage i call it the dank mage because they are pretty dank oh yes they are ah uh, cool right next one please i love the fact that the palm trees are growing around this this is amazing oh damn we're waiting a long time all right we got the javelin dudes come on Maybe start using some of these other weapons at this point. Might be a nice idea. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, yeah, baby. Get wrecked. All right, and then we come back over here. Destroy all the peeps. There you go. Looking good. These guys don't stand a freaking chance, do they, guys? Oh, my gosh. 
Hello! Destroyed. 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 Let's put one of you down there so you get like instantly hurt as soon as you come out of the portal because that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> and I just keep poning everybody, man. This is awesome. Come on. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. <laughs> hey! Defender medals! Thank you. Much appreciated. There we go. Alright, guys. More explosive traps. Man, these explosive traps are pretty effective, huh? Oh, hello. Hi there. How you doing there, sir? How you doing there, sir? Please get wrecked. There you go. Wait, I'm actually losing health. This isn't cool. Alright, maybe a little bit of health. There we go. Alright, guys. We're on the penultimate wave, wave numero four. And this is where the flying dudes start spawning in. Yep, there they are. Whoa, baby. Gotta be careful. This thing only has 1,000 health in tier one, guys. Just something to bear in mind. Gotta be careful. Yeah, look at these guys. Yeah, we've got to be careful of the skies. There we go. There's another one. All right, guys. Like I say, just keep an eye on the skies. We should be okay. Yep, here we go. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. Luckily, I'm killing them before they even get to the point, which is kind of hilarious. God damn. The explosive sounds are insane. <laughs> I love the explosive traps. They're so satisfying. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, you don't. Get destroyed. I will kill you and all of your kind. Hey, more defender medals. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Right. Another explosive trap. There we go. And another one on the point. Why not? Is there like a whole bunch on this side? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Wait, did he die? I think he died. I think the explosive trap got him. Holy Lord. Oh, there's even more. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> Look at this. There's just like a line of explosive traps. This is brilliant. Oh, mate, I'd love to do, like, a grenade-only run. All right, the dank mages are going to start spawning in. All right, we've got to be careful of the flying dudes and, indeed, the dank mages. Very, very careful indeed, in fact. These guys, oh, my gosh, the explosive sounds. I can't hear myself think. I can't hear myself think. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Go on. Oh, my word. Good Lord above, guys. <laughs> We've not even had any dank mages yet, guys. Oh my word. What the hell is going on? Oh, there they are. Dank mages, take it down. 800 health. You think you're freaking smart, do you? Go on. Dank mage, get wrecked. There you go, baby. Oh, no, let's go. We've done it. Oh, there's another one who spawned in. Son of a gun. Oh, no. No, a little bit of health. Okay. Hey, no. Go on, water bolt. This is where you come in, baby. Go on, baby. Let's go. Oh, my word. Get it absolutely destroyed. Oh, 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 mana. Yes, thank you. This guy's nearly done. Tank mate is dead. And so is this guy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Did we get any weapons? I don't think we did. Yay! We did it. We did it. You guys have got to drop a like now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And we got ourselves a, a pet. Why not? We got a little dragon following us. You got to love the Dogons, my friend. You got to love the Dogons. <laughs> ah, good, good stuff, my friends. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. For these trees to grow, and then I'm actually going to place that thing back in. Because that seems to be the perfect place to take down the uh, the Old One's army. Absolutely brilliant. Tier 1 is done, and we are looking good, my friends. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. And with the Old One's army out of the way, we can jump into the comment question of the video. Which, for today, comes from a user by the name of The Rock, who says, If you had the chance to create your own NPC for Terraria, what sort of NPC would he or she be? Um, very, very simple. A traveling chemist. So, similar to how the traveling merchant comes in and sells some random items, I would really genuinely love if there was some sort of traveling chemist. You could go ahead, 
have him or her spawn in and then they would they would sell a random variety of potions sometimes they'd have epic potions like life force and endurance and stuff like that and then sometimes they might just have like really low end potions like i don't know stuff that might still be useful i don't know gills potions water walking iron skin regen that kind of stuff i think it would be fantastic to have a traveling chemist i really really do because i don't know i feel like that's something that might be semi-realistic right Eh, maybe? Maybe not? I have no idea. But you know what? I'm actually going to pass that question off to you guys as well. If you could add any NPC into Terraria, what would they be and what would they do? Leave your response in the comments area below. Like I say, my idea is a traveling chemist. I would love to see that be a thing in the game, but, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? If it isn't, then it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, fantastic stuff, my friends. I'm really, really happy that we took down Old Ones, are we? Because we got some cool stuff out of it. Well, I say cool stuff. We really didn't. We got a dragon egg. I don't even know if you can get any weapons from Tier 1. I don't actually know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that. Because if so, then I would genuinely love to try and get them. Because honestly, I feel like the Old Ones Army weapons are some of the weapons that I've neglected the most in this game. They're weapons that I just don't use. Because for the most part, when I get them, they're already superseded by something else, right? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that was a nice excuse to sort of do something else while we're waiting for the palm trees to grow. But I think what I'm going to do is do some more AFKing just sort of off camera, off the episode. We're going to try and wait for every single one of these trees to grow. And then from that point, we'll be able to make a slightly more, you know, educated guess as to where things could go in terms of buildings, right? And then we could really get to work on making this town look absolutely fantastic. So, guys, on that note, we are indeed going to go and end the episode there, guys. Thank you very very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode with the Old Ones Army, then please do be sure to drop a like rating. It'll mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But uh, yeah, for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.